GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com, man. We're going to do a little conversation really quick, you know, about relationships and, you know, trying to learn how to become a web developer or a software engineer or anything that you do in life, right? How important is it to actually have somebody who is supportive? Like, you know, I've been with my girlfriend for five years. We're now engaged. Uh, soon to be married and um it's been pretty you know you know a lot of ups and downs but at the same time there's a lot of positive things that have happened in our um, relationship and the main reason is because you know she's been so supportive like when i first uh, met her i was doing it work and she seen my whole transition from you know from leaving my old job to becoming a web developer and, you know, spending all those nights of, you know, like me and her, we usually talk from, I don't know, like nine o'clock to 11 o'clock, right? But throughout the day, like, I wouldn't keep in contact that much. And at first it was like, you know, a little problem here and there because you know how girlfriends are. They want you to be in contact all day. Like, hey, t when I text you, text me back and this and that. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> you're busy, you know. So at one point she understood that what I was trying to do was something that was going to better our lives. You know, it was going to be good for her. It was going to be good for me. Um, and she actually gave me that space, which is something why I'm still with her. Like, you know, and I'm still going to be with her <laughs> forever, you know, as long as uh, I'm alive, uh, I'm going to stay with her because, you know, she earned it. Everything that that comes from, you know, all the, the good things that have come from web development, you know, from YouTube, from uh, my job, uh, everything that I, I've been doing for the past few years, she's earned every re uh, reward that I get. And it's like anything that I get is, you know, I give it to her. You know, as much as I can, you know. Um, yeah, and, like, she was just there, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have my mother, I didn't have my sister, I didn't have nobody that was, like, supportive. Like, oh, yeah, keep doing your thing. She was the only one that was there, you know, in the sense of, like, you know, showing me love and, and you know, and be, like, understanding that I needed to learn how to, you know, do web development the right way, and I needed my space, like... I couldn't be on the phone all the time. We couldn't hang out all the time um, as much as we wanted to. But, you know, she knew that I was doing something positive, you know, and something that I loved. For you guys, I would say, hey, you got to find that person because you cannot be able to learn when you're dealing with, like, a lot of, you know, drama from your girlfriend and, and you know, jealousy and, you know, insecurities and somebody who, who doesn't have nothing to do like that's one of the biggest problems like if you're over here trying to better yourself and you're per on oh, the person you're with is pretty much a bum like all she does is just oh yeah talk about clothes or she wants to go out and this and that whatever and you're here trying to actually do something positive she's gonna bring you down so you got to find somebody who's actually has a hobby, who actually has something to do with herself. And also, too, is like trying to better herself and, you know, and has a plan, like a five year plan, because there's no way that you're going to be able to, you know, be able to learn how to code and learn how to do this web development. If you're constantly fighting with somebody or somebody's constantly like, oh, every night. When you come home, instead of you spending time with me, you're on your computer. Like, if you can't understand what I'm doing, then I don't need to be with you. You know what I mean? Like, that's how you guys got to be. And I know sometimes it's hard. You're going to be like, oh, I love this girl. I love everything about her, but she's not supportive. Listen, guys, you got to, you know, you got to do your own thing. You got to move on because this is not, she's not going to change. This is not new. You know what I mean? Women like that would, you know, probably cheat on you because you're actually not giving her enough time, you know, in her eyes. And a lot of times it's because if a woman doesn't have nothing else to do and they want to be all cuddled up with you and, you know, having sex and doing all this stuff, which is always good. But at the same time, it's like, ma, I need my space. 
let me work let me let me do what i gotta do so we could be good and we could say hey next year let's take a vacation or let's say hey let's buy a house hey let's go somewhere else that we've never been hey here's a gift to you now i could afford it you know what i mean like that's how it should be you know it should be a, a teamwork and you know you see images out there like oh you know uh, relationship goals and and you know the type of girlfriend that somebody should should have like you know you see all this stuff but you know sometimes uh, you think like oh this girl is not the right one also too sometimes you just gotta talk to them and be like hey listen um, I just need to do this I need this time from me you know for the next six months right where you say hey I need the six months of me preparing myself to take my career to the next level if she understands that and she's a you know a woman that loves you she's going to understand that and say hey you know what okay baby take your time I'll support you I know in the end you know it's something good for both of us if she's that type of woman then she's a keeper if she's giving you drama and all this stuff and you have to be worrying about like oh my god I'm not spending enough time with her she probably cheating or she doing something she's not the right woman for you you know what I mean like me and my girlfriend is not perfect well fiance she's you know we're not perfect but somehow we made it work and you know and everything's been good like now she knows uh, the reason why I was busting my ass or you know the past four or five years you know where we was together in the beginning it was the first year um, you know I think it was like the second year so I met her one year and then the second year that's when I was like okay the beginning of the second year I was like okay I'm gonna take this web development seriously so she kind of saw a, a big difference from you know we used to talk from like nine o'clock to like 11 12 o'clock and then it became hey I'm talking to her for like 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, you know late nights you know 11 o'clock so you know we we lost like two hours of you know the time that we used to hang out but she understood why you know and like now we we're gonna get married we're gonna see each other every day like you know like it pays off at the end of the day you know what I mean so anyways guys so I just wanted to let you know a little bit about relationships and and how to deal with it and you know the type of person that you need to be with to be able to you know m make a, a move like this and you know make sure you subscribe and make sure you, you like this video man make sure you share this and you know it's just me giving advice and giving you you know something to to think about especially about relationships because I know it's not easy alright okay guys I'll see you later bye